Hey everybody, we are talking living as citizens of heaven. We're studying Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, and Philemon this quarter. I need your Bibles open to Ephesians chapter six. Today, we're gonna wrap up our first book in this series, Paul's letter to the Ephesians. We're talking beginning in verse 10 about standing strong in God's strength. Start reading with me in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. Quick reminder, you have a highlighter. You're going to need that in class this morning. I need you to be ready. Finally, Paul says in Ephesians 6, verse 10, be strong. Can you highlight with me those two words? Be strong. We are being called as disciples of Jesus, as students, as followers of Jesus, we're being called as we live as citizens of heaven to be strong. Now, I don't always feel strong, and I'm guessing you don't either. So we need to pay attention to how the Holy Spirit leads the Apostle Paul to help us understand how. How can I be strong? Well, he helps us finally be strong. Let's highlight these next three words. In the Lord. We're not being called to be strong on our own. We're being called to be strong in the Lord and in the strength of, can you highlight, his might. Our strength is in the Lord. Our strength is in his might. Now, what's that mean? What's that look like? How, how can we apply that in our lives? And do we really need it? Well, let's keep reading in verse 11. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Why do we need to worry about being strong in the Lord and standing in the strength of his might? Can you highlight the last two words of verse 11? The devil. The devil is real. The devil is an enemy of God. The devil wants me. The devil wants you on his side. And he's not going to help us be closer to God. He's not going to help us honor God by the way we live. He certainly doesn't want us to be living as citizens of heaven. He is real. And here at the very end of verse 12, highlight with me spiritual forces of evil. Evil is real. There is more going on than we can see with our physical eyes and hear with our, our physical ears. The devil is real. Spiritual forces of evil are real. But did you hear there in the middle of verse 11, you may be able to stand. You don't have to be defeated by the devil. You don't have to lose to spiritual forces of evil. You can stand. And here is the key in Ephesians 6. Highlight with me the whole armor of God. That's what we need to put on. It is armor provided by God. It's not about fighting other human beings. We're not wrestling against flesh and blood, but we need to be prepared for this fight against the devil and against the spiritual forces of evil. So what is this armor of God? Let's keep reading in verse 13. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand firm. Again, 
That's what God is helping us do, to stand firm. So what do I need to put on? In verse 14, stand therefore having fastened on, highlight, belt of truth. I don't know what goes through your mind when you hear that. It's not an ordinary belt the way you and I would put on. It is the belt of a soldier, right? It is a belt that would bind all of the armor together. What is it that is the the foundation of all the armor that God wants us to put on? God compares the belt to truth. Wrap truth around yourself and having put on the highlight breastplate of righteousness again this is something that people would have been very familiar with in the days of the roman empire a breastplate protected the the front of your body especially if there were let's think about flaming arrows flying in our direction i need something to defend myself right the breastplate of righteousness i need to know what's right i need to know how to choose what is right and live what is right i'm i'm wrapping truth around myself and putting myself inside of what is right. And verse 15, as shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. Highlight those two words, shoes and readiness. Shoes that get me ready. Shoes that in Ephesians chapter 6 are compared with being ready to live in and share the the gospel of peace. I'm going to carry that gospel with me wherever it is that I go. In verse 16, in all circumstances, take up the highlight shield of faith. Remember, there are very real enemies around, and and I need something to carry with me in defense against evil, against falsehood and lies. My shield is faith. Faith in God, faith in His might and in His strength. This shield of faith can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one. And verse 17, take the helmet of salvation. Can you highlight those three words? Helmet of salvation. On my head, a reminder, I am his and he is mine. God has saved me and I'm going to keep that as close as I possibly can wherever it is that I go. And finally, verse 17, the sword of the spirit. Every soldier needs a weapon, right? And again, our weapon isn't against flesh and blood. Our weapon is the word of God that has the power to defeat and drive out the lies of the enemies. Don't overlook verse 18, highlight the word praying. We need to be praying at all times in the spirit with all prayer and supplication. To that end, Paul says, keep alert with all perseverance, making supplication for all the saints and also for me that words may be given to me and opening my mouth boldly to proclaim the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains that I may declare it boldly as I ought to speak so that you also may know how I am doing and what I am doing Tychicus, the beloved brother and faithful minister in the Lord, will tell you everything. I have sent him to you for this very purpose, that you may know how we are and that he may encourage your hearts. Remember, Paul is all the way over here in Rome, and he's writing this letter to brothers and sisters in Ephesus, sending this letter by a brother in Christ named Tychicus. This is how he ends. Peace be to the brothers. Love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, 
Grace be with all who love our Lord Jesus Christ with love incorruptible. There it is. The letter of Paul to the Ephesians. This last section all about standing strong in the strength of God. Let's talk about it. Thanks for being in class today. Thanks for starting your week with me. Hope you have a great rest of your class. I'll see you real soon. 